Hi friends, welcome back. So this is the last video in the series of videos that we have done on data visualization using Tableau. So thank you for your support throughout and uh, please do continue your support like this. Really appreciate it. So now in this last video, we are going to look at how to publish the workbooks that we have created to the Tableau Public Gallery in order to save our work. So when we create any workbook using the Tableau Public tool, the only place where we get to save it is the Public Gallery itself. All right, so what are the steps to save the workbook? I'm using Tableau Public itself. Okay, so how do I save it? I have some charts which are created, I have a dashboard, etc., and I would like to save it. So the method or the procedure is we go to the file option on the menu. Okay. And from here, there is an option called as save to Tableau public as. When you select that option, you will get a pop-up window where we are supposed to sign in to our account. Okay. Now, we if, if you have an account with the public gallery, you can use it. And if you do not have an account, then you'll have to create an account by going to this option here. Create one now for free. You will get a small form that needs to be filled in with your first name, last name, your email, and a few other things. Okay. You can give your personal email ID. It need not be a business email. You can give your personal email ID and create an account for yourself. So once you have created an account, you can now sign into your account. After signing into the account, we will be prompted to give a name to the workbook. Let me sign in first. Okay, I'm going to sign in. And I will be prompted to give a name to the account. Okay, there's some problem with the sign in. Okay, so I'm going to give it some name. I'll just call it um, sample workbook okay i'm calling it sample workbook and once i click on the save button this workbook will be published to the tableau public gallery server which is an open platform where everybody can visit your profile and see what you have created so never ever put confidential data over there in a corporate environment, when you're working on real-time projects, even by mistake, you should not be saving your work on the public gallery. Here, because it is a training environment and we've been using the Tableau public tool, it's fine. Okay, generic things like this, you can put on the public gallery and refer back to it. So once we do this, it is going to get published on the public gallery and then what? What happens is once it goes to the public gallery, You will be able to find the workbooks under your profile. Okay, you will be able to find the workbooks which are published to the gallery under your profile. So this is one such workbook which I had published to the gallery. Now you may get an impression or a feeling that only one sheet got published. That is not true. All the worksheets that you create will be published and saved. How do we see all of them? Okay, for that, we need to change a small setting. I think I'll have to sign in again. We'll have to change a small setting. Okay, here is the settings button. After you have published a workbook, it will take you to your profile under which the workbook is published and it will show you the workbook. Here, there's a settings button. Click there and you need to turn on the second option. Show Viz Sheets as tabs. When this option is turned on, we will be able to see list of each uh, of all the sheets. Basically, you can see each and every worksheet listed out along with dashboard stories. So whatever is present in that workbook will get published. And later on, if you want, you can even download that workbook. So we've created a workbook on the Tableau public tool. And then we published it to the gallery. After publishing it to the gallery, let's say I want to download it for reference. So I, I'll, I'll have to simply click on the download icon and download it. 
Now we have many formats. You can download it as a Tableau workbook compatible with the current version itself. Okay. Once you download it, it will be downloaded onto your machine, right? And then you can open it and you can interact with it. It's that simple. So that is how you publish your work to the Tableau Public Gallery and save it for future reference. All right. So I hope you'll understood how to publish the workbook to the gallery and save it. Now, because this is the last video, I thought I will let you know about the overall program that we have at 360 DigiTMG for Tableau. Okay, the overall program is for 30 hours duration. What do we cover under these 30 hours? In these 30 hours, I shall tell you. Apart from the 30 hours instructor-led live training that you will go through, there's a lot of other self-study content that will be provided, which you can do at your own pace. Okay, so we have something called as Tableau Online, right? I, I told you about the products in the Tableau product suite. We talked about Tableau Online. So you will be taught about Tableau Online. You will be taught about how to use Tableau Prep. Okay? And, and a lot of other things. Okay, these are two other tools that you will learn in the program. The 30-hour instructor-led program is where you will learn about how to work with Tableau Desktop. Tableau Desktop. In this crash course, we've used Tableau Public throughout, right? So we will, uh, you will learn how to work with Tableau Desktop end-to-end -end in the 30 hours program. Apart from that, you will get training videos, which will help you understand about Tableau Online, which will help you work with Tableau Online, learn about it. You will get videos which will help you work with Tableau Prep Builder. Apart from these videos, there is a lot of additional material that is available in the form of videos, in the form of interview questions, quiz questions, assignments, case studies, projects, a lot of support and a lot of practice activities are there. So let me just take you through the overall agenda. What is it that we cover? We start from the very basics. Okay, we start off with what is data visualization? Why is it required? We look at charts creation. We look at the concept of filters, groups, sets, calculations, LOD expressions, maps, dashboards, and stories. So module one, introduction to data visualization. Here, you will explore all of these things. Okay, all of these things. Define data visualization, understand how to install Tableau Desktop, explore the start page, data source page in much more depth, understand about show me panel, etc. Module number two is where we focus on what all options do we have to save our work created on Tableau Desktop in different formats. We will understand about Tableau architecture and we will also try to understand about the limitations of Tableau Public. Okay, because public is a free tool and not all features are available on it. Most of them are, but some of them are not. So what are those limitations? That also will be covered in detail. Then module number three is basic charts in Tableau, most of which we have covered. I think all of them we have covered in our crash course as well. Okay, so we will be looking at these things. Module number four is where we focus on sorting and we'll get into a much more detailed understanding of filters, groups, creating set, combined set, hierarchy, and highlighter. Then we proceed to module five, where we deal completely with data connections in Tableau. How to join the data coming from multiple tables in a single database. How to combine data coming from completely different data sources. Multiple database joins, also referred to as cross database connectivity. How to perform unions. Writing custom SQL queries to fetch only the data that is required for the analysis. A very, very important concept called as data blending, data extraction. 
So this module completely focuses on data connections, okay? And data interpreter, of course. Data interpreter is a feature that will help Tableau to understand the data better, like the headers, subheadings, column names, footnotes, such things are understood better with this. Then we proceed to the next module, Visual Analytics, where we will look at a few more charts. Slightly more advanced compared to what we have covered in module number three. So dual axis, blended axis, heat maps, tree maps, GAN charts, bullet graphs, reference lines, bands and distribution concept. Then we proceed to the next module, which is on advanced analytical capabilities of Tableau. Tableau is primarily a data visualization tool, but it can do a lot of things on the analytical front as well. We can do prediction with trend lines. We can do forecasting. We can do clustering. Distribution analysis by creating histograms and box plots, which are used for outlier detection. So these are the advanced analytical capabilities. And here we will focus on parameters as well. We'll also look at parameter actions. Okay, parameters are dynamic values which replace constant values and they are, it's a very, very important concept. So we will do a lot of examples to understand about parameters, their application and their usage. Then we proceed to maps, geographical maps. Introduction to maps, understanding the roles, creating different types of maps like field map, symbol map, combination map, density map, using Pi as a mark type, exploring map layers and data layers, and editing unrecognized locations. See, there are many places that Tableau can plot, but there are also places which Tableau doesn't recognize. So if it is unable to recognize a location, how do we make it recognize it? And how do we make it plot it on the map? We can do it using two options, editing unrecognized locations or by a concept called as custom geocoding. We will talk about custom territories. We'll talk about how to create polygon maps, work with spatial files, WMS servers, Mapbox tool, background maps, and map search. So it's quite extensive here. Then we proceed to the next module where we cover dashboards and stories in detail. We talk about device designers, sizing options, actions, objects, and building stories. Then we proceed to calculations because pretty often you will come across scenarios where you have all the data, but it may not be in the format you want it to be. It may not be sufficient. You may have to manipulate it. You may have to write formulae to work with numerical data, to work with text information, to work with dates, write logical functions. So we will cover everything about calculated fields in this module, including an in-depth understanding of all the quick table calculations, each and every one of it. Then we proceed to a module called as level of detail expressions, LOD. This by far is the most difficult concept when it comes to calculations in Tableau, but we have a complete module dedicated to LOD expressions where we will understand what are those expressions like fixed LOD, include LOD and exclude. And we will see some real-time use cases on the application of these LODs. It doesn't stop with three use cases. There are many more use cases to which you will be given access. You can watch the videos and practice them. And if there are any doubts at any point of time, I'm available 24 by 7. Okay. Then we talk about custom charts. See, we saw the show me panel, right? And I said that there are 24 charts that we can create from the show me panel. It does not mean that we can create only 24 charts. We can create hundreds of charts in Tableau beyond the show me panel, okay? Beyond what is there in the show me panel. So here we will be looking at a few custom charts, which will give us an understanding of how to manipulate the data and create a variety of charts, even though they might not be present on the show me panel. And again, the list doesn't end here with five charts. You will be given access to a lot of other charts, a uh, lot of other videos where in detail explanation is provided 
for many other charts and how to create them, when to create them, why to create them, all this. Okay. So this is the overall agenda of the complete program that we have for Tableau at 360 DigiTMG. So I request you, you can even uh, go to our website and you can check out the Tableau course over there. We also have a, a full stack program on data analytics, where apart from Tableau, you will be taught how to work with Power BI. You will be taught advanced Excel, SQL, okay? And uh, data visualization with Python. So it's there. So please do visit the website and you get an understanding about the data analytics course and many other courses which are offered and you can get complete syllabus regarding Tableau as well. Okay, friends, thank you all so much. Thank you for your support. I hope you enjoyed all the videos in this series. If you have any doubts at any point of time, please do reach out to our team and we are happy to help. All the best to all of you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.